Coming off a devastating Great Tusk sweep last week, the Orlando Mews are looking to keep up that momentum going into week 4 against Crash and the Los Angeles Lucarios. They have a terrifying Sandcore with Tyranitar and Excadrill, one of the new Paradox Pokemon in Raging Bolt, Hazard stacking potential with Hisui and Samurai, and one of the best Terra Captains in the game in Galarian Articuno. To win this match, I was going to need to come out the gate swinging, set an early advantage and keep it, so I started with Zuin Electrode. This set is made to completely wall my opponent's Sylveon. I can very easily get in on it whenever I want, thanks to soundproof ignoring Hyper Voice, and taunting it the turn prior forces it to switch out as I set up a substitute. Terra Blast Ice hits everything that this pawn would want to stay in on, and Volt Switch lets me get out on anything I don't want to deal with. Once sub is up, I can taunt Clarion Articuno to stop it from setting up or healing and Volt Switch into my next offensive piece this week, Lycanroc. This mod is here to deter my opponent from setting Sand, as if I come in while Sand is up, all it takes is a sword stance and their team is toast. Even if they don't bring Sand, it still provides value to the team as a stealth rocker and an answer to Galarian Articuno, and will outspeed most of their team, barring any Scarfers. I wanted a good defensive option this week, and a reliable way to keep the rest of the team healthy, so I'm bringing Screamtail with a very simple Wish Protect Baton Pass set, Speed Creeping Modest Superior, and enough special attack investment to a KO Cyclozar and his Hisuian Samurai, Dazzling Gleam. For all the threats on my opponent's team, the one thing they don't have is a Grounded Poison type, so I'm bringing Toxic Spikes Overquill with Crunch and Bar Barrage for reliable stab coverage, Liquidation to a KO Excadrill with my attack investment, and Toxic to Poison Cyclozar if it wants to come in and spit my hazards away. Coming back once again to try to punch a hole in my opponent's team is Great Tusk. Running booster speed for the third week in a row, this time with bulk up Earthquake for Excadrill, Typhlosion, and Raging Bolt, Close Combat for Samurott, Tyranitar, Superior, and Cyclozar, and Heavy Slam for Sylveon, Articuno, and Frostlass. Let's see if we can get a repeat of last week with this incredible offensive pressure. Lastly, making their season debut, we have Ditto. This mod has two very simple objectives, gather information about their sets, and use those sets to my advantage. With my choice scarf, I am always faster than my opponent unless they are scarf 2, forcing my opponent to choose every switch in very carefully, be it Ceaseless Edge, Spam with Hisui and Samurai, Leaf Storm, Spam with Superior, or any other busted Pokemon they choose to bring in. Thank you for watching the Team Builder. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. On to the battle. Hello, welcome to the battle. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to be searching or not. Oh. Uh. Okay. Uh. I think I lead. Uh. Who has rocks this week? You do? No. Is it you? Yes. Samurat Sumian Rage Bolt Oh Zekrom, right. That doesn't exist. Uh Sylveon Excadrill Superior Articuno Galler. I'm fine with this. I just click volt switch immediately. That's weird. Why is the comp giving me a different time? That's odd. Anyway. Uh, good luck to my opponent. Uh, sorry for this being so... Not clear. Um, I'm really confused as to why they told me a different time. Uh, this is fine. I just set up a sub on this thing. Uh, you literally shouldn't be able to hit me. Uh, actually, I'm gonna taunt. I'm gonna taunt because you would be forced to switch out. Uh, I'm soundproof. You can't hit me. Good. Uh, we're gonna click sub. We're going to 
quick sub. Uh, Sylveon is reflect. I'm going to turn off Discord for that happening. Um, substitute Hyper Voice and Soundproof. Good. This mod is completely walled. Um, you are reflect Hyper Voice. Uh, I'm just gonna fire off a Terra Blast. You can't hit me. You have to switch out. I just get free chip on this thing. Okay, good. This set worked as expected. Uh, you're gonna go... Bolt. Uh, raging Bolt. How much are you taking from a Terra Blast right now? You should take a decent amount. This is doing half. Or this is doing half to Calm Mind Raging Bolt, the, the base set. I'm expecting this to do half. I mean, that's no HP investment, but still. That did nothing. Holy shit. Okay, let's see. That did about 30%. This thing is at 70. It's not leftovers. Okay, so this thing like has to be AV. I mean, I don't even think like max HP makes this hit 30. If you're Assault Vest. Yeah, that looks about right. Okay, so this one is Assault Vest. Uh, I'm just gonna click Terra Blast again. Thunderclap, you're gonna hit. You're gonna hit Sub. That's not gonna break it. Oh yes, it will. Yeah, Thunderclap is 50. <laughs> um, but it's very good to know that this thing's AP. Uh, this thing is very clearly Assault Vest. Thing is very clearly assault vested. Um, it's currently at 50. Let's call that 45. Good. Uh, I can come in on Sylveon literally whenever I want. Uh, I'm just. I think Screamtail is the answer here. Yeah. Mm. Or I could go Tusk. No, I have to save your booster. Uh, I could go Ditto. No, there's no reason to do that. Um, I mean, there is. That would kill from here. Thunder, which I'll just use as code for Thunderclap. You're heavy stuff. Okay, we're just gonna get their entire set right now. They do have Dragon Pulse, and they have Discharge. I'm just gonna click Dragon Pulse. They're gonna go Sylveon, but then I go back into Electrode for free. Drum Bunker, what is this? Excadrill. Excadrill is going to take a decent chunk from this. Okay, that did about a quarter. Mm, that did about 30%. Uh, Excadrill took. About 30% from Dragon Pulse. That's that's about expected. Uh, I go, what, Overkill? Or do I go, um...
Let's go over pull. Okay, that's useful information. Hmm. Let's hook talk, Swigs. That's fine. Uh, then I just go. Great Tusk and click bulk up. I mean, do I not? Okay, what is your switch into Tusk? Time at plus one. It's Serp, I guess. Serp doesn't one shot me. Yes, it does. Um, but if I'm at plus one, booster speed, I'm gonna put bulk up. They should go serve, yeah. They're going Articuno. They're just psychic. They kill. This might be a tiny throw. I did nowhere near as much. Just go electrode for free. I did kind of lose my win condition. For no reason, really. Um, yeah, that was kind of just a throw. Oh, it's kind of just a super throw. Um, this isn't an awful position. I mean, it's not great, but this is manageable. Your Terra Fire. You have Freezing Glare, and you are Terra Fire. Let's just put in everyone's abilities. Competitive. Terrible, sure. Contrary. Oh, uh, let's copy this thing. Just get its entire moveset. Um, recover. Okay. Okay, so they are Freezing Glare, Recover, Calm Mind, Shadow Ball. They're Terra Fire, they're at about 85%. Dude, the target frozen. That's stupid. Uh. I should just be able to go like rock here. Like pretty freely. Void Terra Fire. And Calm Mind. Cool. Did 
Oh, uh, like <clears throat> I'm just gonna click Stone Edge. There's no reason for me to overthink this. Yeah, you're dead. Okay. There's zero reason for me to overthink that. Okay, so that thing's dead. Uh, where do you go now? This isn't an awful situation. I can very easily just click CC into this thing. Aqua Tetris can kill me and I outspeed you. I'm just gonna click CC. in a terrible situation. Okay, so this thing's scarfed. This thing has to be scarfed. They're 100% sharpness. This thing is scarfed. Clear amulet. I should have assumed that they were scarfed from the very clear way they brought that in. But yeah, I'm just gonna go do. Uh, this is a speed tie. And again, I just. Okay, so they are Aqua Cutter, Ceaseless, Flip Turn, Sacred Sword. and Sacred Sword. Uh, they're just gonna click Sacred again. I'm gonna go Screamtail. But it is nice to know what this thing is. It's very nice. So that leaves us with Sylveon, which is not a problem as long as we keep Electrode alive. Um... Um, let's serve. I could have just clicked ceaseless. Why did you? Okay. I mean, I get information on this thing, which is fine. I should just click flip turn. This is a roll, like absolute min roll, I don't break their sub. Which is annoying, but it's nice information to have. Oh, uh, let's see if this breaks. It should, again, it should. So it's sub glare. Leaf storm, what else? Probably leech. Probably leech seed. Okay, good. Good. That that roll was in my favor, but it was still a roll. Um, if I go Electrode and Terra Ice, what can I expect to do to this thing? Uh, I don't let you get off a sub for free. Yeah. Like, literally. Okay. So they're playing dead in full para. Because this is basically guaranteed. Unless I get mineraled. Yeah. Unless I get like absolute mineraled. Or full parad. Uh, I'm just gonna keep clicking it. I can't let you sub for free. You can go electrode, that's fine. 
you're gonna go Sylveon. Uh, then I'm just gonna go into Electrode. This is a free pivot. Good, I still have speed. I'm gonna go Electrode. This thing is completely walled. Wish. Uh, I'm gonna get off a free little sub. You're going this thing. Okay. Um, I'm going to sub now. This thing is. Oh, it's wish. Uh, yeah, I just click. Um, I just click uh, Terra Blast for free. Thunderclap, that's fine. Um, yeah, this thing's 100% AV. Like, there's no shot at anything else. You're now back down to about... Hmm. Do I call your bluff? I'm gonna full twitch. I did zero. Um... We're gonna go Ditto. I am a big boy. I'm gonna go Dragon Pulse. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Um, this is annoying. It's possible that I can come back from this. I completely forgot I'm paralyzed. And I... Hmm, that's annoying. Um, that's annoying. Um, hmm. Okay, so they're at about 55. They're gonna go extra draw. Oh, they're just gonna go surf. Oh no, they're gonna go self. Um, hmm. uh, I just go electro for free. There's no need to think about this. Is I just have to? I just have to get my hits and one available. Light screen. Oh my god. Switch, you okay? Um, if you are a salt pest with a With light screen on your side. I just need chip. You should go X control here. Yeah. This is gonna do a decent amount. 
Excadrill. That did nothing. Um. Hmm. Is there a way for me to stall out? Um. Light screen. I mean, I can. If I just click sub. Iron Head 100% super kills me. If light screen isn't up though, then that rolls a little more in my favor. Let's say you're at half. Because you are, you're at 50. And throwing away Great Tusk wasn't the smartest idea. Um, it was actually quite stupid. Um, there's a guarantee to a kill. Yeah, there's no point in prolonging this. Uh, I played like an idiot. I lost like an idiot. That's fair. That was... Yeah. Yeah. I played like an idiot. I lost for it. That's on me. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Um. It's always next week. Oh, I lived. And I get full card. Well, that's just lovely. Um. That's just fantastic. Um. That's fine. Um. Uh, GG's to my opponent. Um. I played like shit, I think. If my prep wasn't as good as it was, I would have lost faster. So, kind of did that to myself. But, uh, now we have transaction talk. So, um, so obviously we picked up Ditto this week. Um, I wanted to make a few more transactions because I just felt like there were members of the team that weren't contributing as much. Um, in particular, Talonflame. I didn't see Talonflame being useful at all for the rest of the season, period. It just, it has no coverage. So, effective next week, uh, we will be replacing Talonflame with Moltres. Moltres will also be a Terra Captain, so it's going to be Fire, Grass, and Fairy. Um, Moltres just kind of does what I wanted Talonflame to do, but does it better because it's actually committed to an offensive stat and has good coverage. And trades Defog for Roost, which I think is... Well, I mean, Talonflame had Roost, but it's not as useful on it considering it's incredibly frail and still... And Moltres still has Flame Body, so they cover about the same niche defensively. Um, so, I got Moltres. Now, in dropping Talon Flame, I lost Removal, so I'm replacing Lycanroc with Mousehold. Um, Mousehold, I feel, is going to alleviate a lot of Screamtail's uh, 4 move slot syndrome that I've had during building. It feels like that Mon is so pressured into wanting to bring... Fairy Coverage, Stealth Rock, Wish Protect, Baton Pass, Encore. There are so many things that that Mon can do and wants to do every week that it being pressured onto one Mon, it just, it's an impossible choice. But with Overquill, I can then take most of those and split it onto a second Mon. So it gets Encore, it gets Taunt, it gets Switch Initiative, it gets... Um, all of the utility that I would want to use on Screamtail, just on another Mon, so Screamtail isn't as pressured. Um, in losing Lycanroc, we lost our second Stealth Rocker, or third. So, we replaced Ditto 
with Ride On. I know we only did over a week, and it's unfortunate that it basically did nothing. Um, but I feel Ride On is going to be hopefully more than just a Stealth Rock bot. Um, this mod gets incredible coverage. It has good defensive stats. It gets an electric immunity. It has Rockhead if I want to run it offensive. Like, this mod is very good, and it will do more than just run rocks. So, I'm very, I'm very happy with the transactions that I've made. Uh, this is going to be the final roster heading into the, the last two-thirds of the season. Um, yeah, I'm real, I'm really comfortable with how the team's feeling. Um, I feel like I should have made these sooner although Moltres wasn't available during draft I think it got taken before Talonflame and it only got dropped recently kind of recently like it got dropped two weeks ago so yeah uh 